Hey, Carl, uh, obviously you've been here a couple of weeks now, a few weeks now. How are you finding it at Welling so far? Yeah, no, I'm really enjoying it, to be fair. Um, every day we're just training and obviously I feel myself getting better, a lot fitter, sharper. And I'm really enjoying this level, um, something new to me. So I'm really just soaking in like a sponge, just soaking in all the new information and just learning all the experienced players around me, to be fair. You've had a, an interesting journey over the last couple of years. Obviously, you were playing uh, with your dad at Cray Valley, um, lower down, and obviously got the opportunity at Watford, which was a great opportunity. Obviously, you didn't stay on there. So how important is it for you to, to just be playing men's football now and, and, and progressing and developing? Yeah, I think this is the best thing for my development, um, this type of football. Um, this is, like you said, I was at Watford and Cray Valley. Um, this is a very good level for me, and I feel like coming out of this, I'll be a completely different player. Um, like I said, I'm learning every, every day, um, every game as well. Um, my body's adapting to this men's football as well. It's really, really, really physical. So I have to be smart in my movement, in, in the way I see games and off the pitch as well. So, yeah, I'm really enjoying it so far and I'm developing it, as I said. So you're obviously, it's still a very young player, but the manager's shown a bit of faith in you the last few games, yeah, yeah. coming off the bench at Chelmsford for your debut. A real live wire performance. You, you really ran at the players, left yeah. a couple of defenders on their backsides, and that must have been a nice feeling making your debut. Like very that. nice, very nice. Like I said to my dad, I've never played in front of that much people before, even at Watford. So I just had to soak it up, and manager really just released all the pressure when I was coming on. He said, go and out, go out there and enjoy it. And that's what I did when I stepped on that pitch. All the nerves went away. Um, literally the, the fans as well like I remember when I did something well and I was running at people they really got behind me so I really felt I really loved that game and obviously I was looking back at the, the clips and stuff I really enjoyed that game and I want to learn from it I really do want to come off the bench and like I said with Chelmsford I just wanted to raise the bar even higher and when you come on as a sub you want to raise the intensity and try to help the team as much as possible and I feel like that's what I've done Chelmsford You mentioned your dad there as well like how much influence is he uh, first of all in your career but also growing up falling in love with football he, he, he must um, help you a lot yeah yeah look, I can't really put into words how much he's helped me obviously him playing as a professional footballer for you know and he was in a prem for, for nine years it was just um, honestly I'm like a sponge like I said when it comes to my dad I just try to absorb everything the little details it is massive and even after the game I'm just asking him in the car what could I have done better and he tells me he sits down with me and he really speaks to me about you know what he sees from outside and honestly massively helps my game um, you know the detail he has and the information he has is so is so massive and I don't really you know, I, I really appreciate it. I don't really neglect it, and it helps him massively. Uh, what his feedback is for, on my game. Were you someone growing up as a kid? You know, with your brothers as well, like yeah. loading up YouTube, typing yeah. in Kevin Leesby, watching his hat trick against Liverpool, yeah. uh, scoring a winner at Stamford Bridge. All that he's achieved a lot in the game. You know, at yeah. Charlton in those years. And were you someone that used to look at all those clips and, and look to, to try and aspire to that? Hundred percent. I remember I even go to his room and I say, "No way, he scored against Chelsea," and <laughs> I see him running in, in, in celebration. But now, what he's done is amazing. Like I said, I just want to follow those footsteps because although it's a lot, I really do feel like I can, I can follow in his footsteps, and I see that he's proud of me. Um, um, I really see, and that's the main thing for me, is that I make my parents proud and they've invested so much time and effort, my mum as well. I just really want to make them proud and obviously me coming here, I feel like I can, I can make that happen. And obviously, uh, you, you, a lot of this journey you've done with your twin brother as well, yeah. Kyrie's, and he's, uh, he's now at Brentford. You were at Watford together last year. Um, is it a good thing, do you think, now that you can go your separate ways and, and be yourself a little bit while still being able to rely on each other for advice and, and friendship? 100%. We've, we've played every team together from college football to Sunday league to semi-pro. We've done everything together, and obviously now we're separating. It's like kind of a bit of space and obviously time for us to really reflect on, on us not worrying about my twin and how's Kyrie's doing but he's doing so well at the moment and hopefully we meet each other at the top one day but um, yeah he's doing well at Brentford um, like I said I was there at Brentford as well training and they really helped me massively um, they really helped me massively they really looked after me and I think that's credit to Kyrie's and, and how he's performed there and the coach Neil as well and I'm just happy for, for the way Brentford treated me because I wouldn't be here without them and yeah Kyrie's he's, he's a really good player we have similar attributes we're both as, we're the really the same player he's on the right I'm on the left so yeah nice nah, it's amazing to play with, to have a twin in the first place but to, to be at this level playing with them as well at Watford as well was is, was, it was really really crazy yeah looking ahead to Saturday now a trip to Oxford City three games I think since I've been here three games unbeaten a yeah. win and two draws so I guess it's about keeping that positivity you know it could have been nine points with his last yeah, three yeah. games really with yeah. the performances but um, you must be looking forward as well just to, to making that trip and, and hopefully being able to make an impact 100% um, unfortunate to, to give away that penalty loss on Tuesday and like I said, the boys played really... We didn't play our best, but we, like I said, that's how football works. You don't really play the best, but you still pick three points up. And like I said, we're unbeaten in three. And 
I think the boys was, was gutted not to come out of that game three points, but we're looking, we're all eyes on, on Saturday and I really do feel like we're, we're climbing up this table. Um, there's a lot of positive energy and the boys are working hard every day in training and this Saturday I really, really believe we can get a result as well. The fans are really, really behind us as well. So this season there's a lot of belief and I just want to be a part of, of you know, what uh, well and do this season and climbing up this table.